So it's the second episode of my FA Trophy Road to Wembley series. And today I am the first round qualifying. And I'm here in Falmouth Town, or other than known as Penny Come Quick back in the day, which means head of the creek. I even have a pub that I'll show you in a minute, maybe I'll overlay it. It was the birthplace of that famous book, The Wind and the Willows. And here they were once the centre of the oyster industry. They even still hold an annual oyster festival. Doesn't sound to my taste to be fair. Yeah. Now this harbour behind me, you may see a bit of a big ship, one there, and one massive one there. This is actually the third deepest harbour in the world, only beaten by Sydney Harbour and the port of Mahon, which I believe is in Menorca. So this is the third deepest in the world, and that's kind of why they have these big cruise ships. And I think a big mail ship, or other known as a packet ship, which you'll see why I have brought that up very shortly. And if you are an avid diver, under there somewhere are lots of German sunken U-boats that they actually use and gunnery practice going. If you want to get in there, go a bit of diving, you can find some hidden German U-boats. Very interesting. Not for me though. Not very slippery here as well. My shoe are going to get soaked. This is even somehow one of the sunniest places in England. Although not today. You may even see some palm tree when you come here apparently. I haven't seen one yet. And I wouldn't say it's very sunny. <laughs> and on the 2nd of October, 1836, Charles Darwin finished and ended his maiden voyage around the world on his famous ship, the HMF Beagle right here. He ended that journey here. And if that isn't a good fact, then you obviously don't like facts. But you might quite subscribe though. Now today, of course, I'm not just here for a little bit of tourism, although I am going to find a Cornish path digger. When you're in Cornwall, you've got to do it. Right, we'll go at that in a minute. Some steep steps there. Now I hope you've enjoyed it a little bit different of an intro. Normally I go to city, town, even villages all over the country and have done in the past. And then people could ask me, you know, for instance, how Sheffield? And I would say, I don't know, I've only been to the ground. But I've been to Sheffield, but I can't tell you anything on it. That's because I don't explore the area. So I thought today, a little bit different. Go down to Falmouth, rather than just go to the ground, and watch the game. I'd actually do a little bit of sightseeing and include that in the vlog. And what a beautiful place, but very, very steep. So I'm gonna enjoy it, Pathy. Get back to the car and onward to Bickland Park. So today, of course, I am here at Bickland Park, the home of Falmouth Town. Obviously, what you've just watched would be completely irrelevant when I go, I'm here now at Chora again. But what was the point in that first bit, Kyle? Well, no. Or there was a reason why I went down in the Falmouth and now I've come back here. That pasty, by the way, lovely, really, really nice. But I'm parked up outside Bitcoin Park with a capacity of 3,572. Although that is from Wikipedia. I wouldn't say it's the most reliable source, but I'm sure it's there or thereabout, which is fantastic. Falmouth were founded in 1949 and play in the Southern League Division 1 South. They were promoted last season or in the same league as Buckley in the Western League. They were promoted in the first season where they've had a playoff and they beat Clevedon, I believe, in the playoffs right here. Now, I wanted to go. I just wasn't able to. I've been wanting to go here for a couple of seasons now. So I'm glad I am finally here. Now, just watching Falmouth isn't the only reason I'm here, though, because Falmouth Town is actually home in here, in the football club, to the F Troop, Ultra. Troop. Now, I've read about it and I've been told about them, but I'm led to believe they're a set of hardcore Falmouth fans, maybe, I don't know how many, maybe 30, 40, I'm not too sure, but they come here, rain, oh, what's it today? Why is it always raining in September? There's my little catch thing again, which is literally raining. Let's get out of the car and I'll tell you a little bit more about their opponents.
And as I stand here in the Little Terrace, found my opponent today in the FA Trophy third qualifying round at Sindeford Town, founded in 1922. They play in the same league as Falmouth, the Trevor League Division 1 South. Now, you may remember earlier I mentioned Packet. Now, Packet, of course, like I said earlier, is just another word for like a mail ship, something that delivers mail, kind of like a postman boat in a way. They call them a packet ship. Now, the end where the F Troop Ultra do the drumming, waving the flag, etc., is called the packet end. And of course, not for the region, if you're um, a little bit naughty, you may think of packet, but the packet end actually is a nod to their boating path and even present, as we saw the packet ships there even today. So, am I about to experience the greatest non league ultra? We're going to find out, but first of all, we're going to have a little wander around the ground. And that there is an old school stand. I absolutely love that stand. And also, I love the bank. As you know at Buckton, that's my main watching point. Up on the bank, brilliant view of the action. I feel like that's probably where I'm going to opt to today. Although, I also want a good view of the packet and on the old trip go. I'll just move around. I'm on my own. I get to do what I want. No, I'm on my own. Might as well help me out, support the channel, and subscribe. Thank you. Now I said I was going to watch up on the bank, but it wasn't until I woke up there that I realised that when I was by the either side, unless I was in the stand, I actually couldn't see the other goal. And of course I want a good view of these guys. Quite quiet over this side, lots of people up on the top there as you can see on the bank. Stand's quite full as well, but over here a little bit quieter and of course I have a perfect view of the pack end. Let's get into the game, the players are out. Let's go. Brought out a speaker and I was playing free from desire. You've never seen that in a game before. They have a speaker in the stand. Mad. Honestly, if you don't normally see Nong League, you don't get it ever in Nong League. So this is fantastic. They're probably, I don't know, nearly 100, I would say, in that little stand there. Brilliant. Weak chance, but it was a chance. Found with the better team so far in the first 10 minutes, it's still nil nil so far. Freak it right on the edge of the area. Let's see if we can get this in in front of that packet end. Brilliant fan, by the way. Really, really good. So impressed. Right in the face. Ooh, how dare. They're getting close. Remember, this FA Trophy it goes straight to penalties if it is a draw at full time. So there will be an outcome to this game no matter what. Ooh. Best chance of the game so far it's from Cinderford. I'll tell you what, since we've said that, Cinderford are actually looking the better team now. But yeah, kind of end to end. See if Palmer can get this one in.
Come on, come on. Bloody trumpet. Make it mental. Next on the mind be of Yeovil. Remember, if you're a Yeovil fan or Chelsea fan, you may know this chin. Just before half time, and it found of one Cinderford nil. And they love it. And there we go, that goal literally was on the joke of half time. So 1 0 up at half time. Fantastic. What a ground. Great atmosphere for Nong League, just a shame about the weather of course, but let's say it, I'm not that bothered. I'm just wet. In the drive for the second half. of town freeze in a third town nil they're probably about three minutes left so i thought while i've just scored while i reset it i'll quickly walk around the back of the stand obviously can't see anything while i'm walking around here and it'll be just my luck that i end up missing a goal so i'm gonna walk around here and i'll finish off the vlog over by the lovely f troop found with fans in the packet end can't be too close though because they played the music from the speakers that went up getting me copyrighted that's why i'm not in there but 3-0, go to bed, game over. I love this old school terrace by the way, amazing. Great view from there as well. Right.
Let's get back to the car. <laughs> Pitching it down. Right, I'm going to keep this one short because they could already a very, very long vlog. Well, it looks like it's going to be anyway, but hopefully interesting. And like I said, if you have enjoyed it, please subscribe. But Falmouth Town, F Troop, fantastic. I mean, you know, you're not expecting Borussia Dortmund level atmosphere for a long league. I think Falmouth Town, you know, they're right out in, in the stick here in Cornwall. It's not a massive catchment area, really. Uh, you know, like the, the biggest and closest club, it could call Plymouth, not even from Cornwall, although right on the border of it. And then you've got Choro. I mean, Falmouth are then the next step down after that. And that was fantastic. That was fantastic atmosphere. Brilliant uh, singing, playing their musical instrument, trumpet, uh, the speaker, the drums. It was just really great. And it was really just nice to see because normally Nong League isn't about kind of that kind of thing. And I think fair play to the F Troop Ultra. They were fantastic. So yeah, I would say they are actually the best. Nong League, Ultra Nong League fan that I have seen. Really good attendance. I don't know what the official attendance is, but it looked like quite a few people. I'd say high 200, low 300, maybe. Maybe a little bit more, perhaps. But yeah, brilliant. Falmouth 3, Cineford Town 0. Falmouth ring to the next round of the FA Trophy. I don't know where I'm going to be next. The draw will be most likely Monday. So I'll be looking forward to seeing where I will be going next. But thank you so much for sticking around. Hope you have enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have, please subscribe down below. And I'll see you very, very soon. For next week, actually. For Plymouth away. Plymouth versus Sunderland. And I'll see you there, hopefully. Goodbye.